question is, is where is the entire herd? There's a problem going on in Oklahoma. Got you some more minerals. Losing your hair. Someone. Oh, it's Jackie. Oh, it's Jackie. Yeah, yeah. What are you boys doing? Roaming by yourselves? Make the ladies mad? Kick you, they kick you out of the pool club? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, the question is, is where is the entire herd? At least the boys showed up. They're usually the troublemakers, but where is the other 29? They're mysteriously gone. Yet to be found. Yeah. I ain't kidding. No. Ouch. What are you guys doing? Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty. The girls are up here with me. Well, we just got back from vacation and uh, this is the first herd check that we've done. And it took us about 20 minutes to find Big Joe and Haas. Those are the first two we found and those are usually the last. <laughs> but we found them and I really had a hard time finding the entire herd. But uh, they're down here in the woods hanging uh, out along the creek. I guess they think summer is already here. I guess officially summer is here. But uh, in Oklahoma, uh, it's really not until it gets hot. That's, that's like real summer, which is June, July starts to get miserable, August, September. But it is really pretty and cool down here. But it's just funny because they didn't even come to the ATV. They're literally down here um hanging out and i see some I see some babies and uh they're all <laughs> hanging out right here and i'm it's kind of hard to count them uh when they're in the woods so yeah we're all living in the woods I can't even count them. Are they, is there a bunch down in there? Yeah, there is. They're like right around here. Well, um, it was a little difficult to get a full herd check and count the red dogs to see if we had any new red dogs. So um, what we did was we went and did a little herd check earlier the next morning.
So it looks like um, it's still difficult when we do these herd checks to actually still get a full count on all the red dogs. But I want to say today we're up to about 18 is what I believe. And according to my notes, we keep a record of the females that have had um, all their babies. And uh, I need to share this with you at some point, but it looks to me like that's what we've got. Um, Marissa and I see a cow over here by herself. We're going to go look at her and see what she's doing. But typically what that means is we may have another red dog out there is what it looks like to me. Yeah, so we need to go check her and we'll go from there and see how many uh, red dogs we're at. Bullet got him a tree. See if he gets in there. Oh, they're about the same color as that water. It's fun to just come out here and sit and watch these animals because we were just hanging out right here and uh, they come up to this little water hole that only fills up whenever um, it's the rainy season. And of course, it's filled up now, but they obviously think it's hot. They've been spending time in the woods and now they're hanging in a little mud water hole here and i've never seen the red dogs in it but they obviously think that it's um it's hot outside so there's nothing wrong with that they're hanging out and uh cooling off but i think it's about 95 today and then it's supposed to cool off and get some more rain but it's fun just sitting here watching i hope you guys enjoy this too just sitting here hanging out so we like to bring that to you so Cabs aren't messing around. I know it's already hot. This one here, he's curious of the dogs. That's what I was excited about what we just got in the mail. You guys don't already know. We started a little project, I guess we could say. There's a problem going on in Oklahoma, and I've noticed it recently. Um, I just, being a wild off guy, uh, I try to pay attention to things. The wild turkeys here, which are the Rio Grande turkeys, the population has majorly declined in Oklahoma. Uh, and especially this area, you just don't see as many turkeys as you used to. Well, I know somebody that has done this little project, actually not very far from us. I thought I'd try it. So we started off with five. Uh, that was the fastest eggs that I could get. We got three out of five hatched out of, an out of our incubator. Well, now the other 24 is here. Now these are Easterns, which they're almost identical to the Rio Grands, but we've got 24 eggs here. It just came in the mail and we're gonna start them in the incubator today. And hopefully we'll get as much as we can, but we got 28 days of incubation. 
off of these turkey eggs. A little bit longer, about a week longer than a regular chick egg or a chicken egg. We're gonna go in here, start the incubator. The incubator's been going up. I had it running for a day. We're gonna add these to it. So we'll, we'll let you know about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Wow, that is a pretty neat way to do that. A little styrofoam, all right. So looks like there's a dozen here. So we'll get this open and going. Set that right there. Okay, whoa, look at that. It's pretty. Turkey egg, pointy end goes towards the middle mm -hmm. right yes god these are big it is a big we, you may not be able to ooh, we'll see this i think the middle one rack is maybe a little bit smaller egg so maybe put the smaller eggs towards the middle and the bigger ones i don't know we'll just have to play with it yeah that may be right some of these are huge This is a great way to ship eggs. And where'd you get them from? These came from Mississippi, actually. Bought them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I still. <laughs> Bought them on eBay. Well, they were so hard to find. I know. When, you're... I wanted, when, I, when I got into this project, I had a really hard time finding where they were. So like how to get access to them. And by the time I wanted to start this project, I, it was already, people had already started ordering. So it's like one of those things where, you, you know, know but when you, you were better like get on it. Buying eggs off of eBay. I, I like, know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure. You were not the, the winner of the bid for turkey eggs? <laughs> nope. What are we doing here, Dusty? Just ordering some turkey eggs off of eBay. Seems Just completely normal. Some turkey eggs. Completely normal. Found a small one. Okay, that incubator is completely full. So, so we got 22 in here, and we'll get that sealed in there. Oh, they sent you some extra, then, huh? He did. Well, that was nice of him. It is pretty cool, actually, a little packaging. It's like little foam like discs that. All right, so. Well, we should probably save this and then we could ship someone turkey, or not, well, turkey eggs or some chicken eggs if anyone wants some real exotic Ponderosa chicken eggs. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea is because the populations are so low here, we're gonna take a little gamble and I've only, I've heard of this happening because a, go, a state government trapper for the state of Oklahoma, Department of Wildlife and uh, Fish and Game, actually did this. He's a friend of ours. Um, he lives actually not very far from us, but he actually did this. He hatched out 30 eggs, raised them, let them go, and end up that whole flock or I'm not sure what you call it, but that group of turkeys that he raised, when he let them go wild, he said they got as big as about 90. So it tripled in size. And um, I think that was a really cool story. We saw his turkeys around the neighborhood quite a bit. So is this going to work? I don't know. I think there's a higher chance of doing this with turkeys versus quail. The Bob White quail population has been way down for the past decade. But the turkey population is just a recent thing. So, um, are they gonna make it? There's definitely gonna be some predation. We have coyote problems, raccoons can really get them uh, as well. Any sort of wild dogs, stray dogs around here can get them. But, you know, we can do a, l a little part here by taking these eggs. Hopefully we get a pretty good hatching out. Raise them up a little bit, let them go on the ponderosa. 
And our time at the Ponderosa, we've had the Ponderosa for, I don't know, a couple of years now. And the other day was the first time in two or three years I've ever seen a turkey on the property. A hen. I saw a hen for the first time the other day. Normally, this whole area of Oklahoma and Murray County, you would see turkeys. Now, there are some turkeys left, but... So, we're going to try to bring back the wild turkey population. I don't know how well it'll go, but we're going to dang sure try. And at least, hopefully, we have some of the Ponderosa. If they leave and they go hatch everywhere else, that's great. There's a lot of information now that's been coming out about the Rio Grande turkeys and about the wild turkeys here, about their the population and why their chicks are struggling um, and why their population is struggling. So, and one of them, one of the main reasons was water, right? We've gotten so much water recently, like eggs get washed away, nests get destroyed, chicks get taken. Chicks get washed away in the water. I had no yeah, idea about that. I didn't even think about that side of it. So that was kind of sad. It, it, water, rain is great, but rain is good. it's impacting the, the turkey population. And I never thought of it like that. Definitely not something that you think about. Yeah. Um, but it just rotated. So <laughs> scared me. Anyways. Uh, Would you think they were coming alive? Yeah. <laughs> Could uh, it get you? So we're going to try to do our part and as a i'm a actually graduated as a wildlife ecology major from an all in modern oklahoma state um i don't know anyways we're gonna give it a try hey girly what you doing looking pretty well so yep the bakers are starting a new project shocking right <laughs> we always got something going who knows what it is if it ain't bison could be chickens chicks and now turkeys who knows uh horses don't forget the horses as well cora and our new one morgan so something else i i did want to say is um if you guys have been following us along we started this channel in may of 2019 and if you do the math it's been five years since we started this channel if you're just now joining us welcome and i hope you stay with us guys but for those of you that have been with us since 2019 i want to give uh, you guys, a huge thanks. Thanks for following us along, being a part of the journey with us. And uh, it has been a joy and a pleasure raising the American bison uh, with my wife and I. Wasn't sure how all this was going to go, but um, it's uh, it's grown and it's been amazing because of you. It's um, It's been so much fun uh, just bringing our experiences to you. And uh, we've learned so much. We've I feel like we've come a long ways since uh since 2019 uh we started in 2018 so we're coming up on our sixth year of raising these uh, amazing animals and uh fifth year of doing this youtube channel so uh i just want to give a special thanks to you guys special thanks to my wife for jumping on board this journey and always always being my number one fan supporter critic everything um so i really want to thank her my family my friends kevin helping us uh, and and you too, Silky, thank you. We wanna to continue to do what we do, raise the American bison, and support their legacy, their culture, their heritage, and the restoration of America's mammal. And we're gonna keep doing that. We'll see you guys soon. We're gonna keep on bison ranching.